Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I hope that you have had a good week. We have had a good week. It kind of just went by fast and it was a little bit cooler this week, but still spring. I've been just taking pictures the other day. Matter of fact, it was the um, pictures of the azaleas. Chanel's right there. That um, I put at the end of last video. That was when I was coming out of a doctor's office and they had a huge bunch of azaleas and they were so pretty. And then yesterday, I think it was yesterday or day before, that even outside of Zaxby's, I'll put it at the end of this video, they have um, some azaleas. And uh, one of my favorite things is wisteria. My grandparents had wisteria all along their um, driveway. And it kind of went, you know, it's a vine. So it kind of went over to their house. And I just remember that. And I just, I love it. My mom got me one for my backyard that hasn't bloomed yet. But anyway... <laughs> I always have to give you a weather report and everything else, but um, so anyway, I'm just excited that it's spring. So today, I'm going to do something exciting. I have an exciting announcement, and I got a package from Dean Davidson, and I haven't even opened it yet, and he said that he would do like he did last year and send us a little video explaining and um, not explaining, but kind of describing his inspiration for designs and just telling us about what he sent me. And I love that. But um, So let's open it. You know, he always sends me the best stuff. And I do know about one special thing that's in here that he told me that I am the, <clears throat> excuse me, I am the first person to get this since um, the Prime Minister and his wife of Canada came to see President Obama not too long ago. And I remember them talking, I remember how young he is, and um, his wife was wearing Dean Davidson's jewelry, and oh, I love all his stuff, even his ribbons got his name on it and everything, so, um, oh, look, he is so with it. Okay, sending our love from Canada to one of our favorite people, XOXO Dean. Each inspired piece of Dean Davidson jewelry holds its own story, designed to make the wearer feel beautiful, emboldened, and different from the rest. And it does. I love it. I always get so many compliments on Dean's jewelry. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Chanel, you want some... I wonder if I put this tissue, a bit sassy to lay on it. They love to lay on, like, tissue paper. Sassy. I have an audience here. They're all watching me. Okay, here's the first thing. And everything comes in like a nice little leather type pouch. What is that bracelet? Oh, gosh, look at that. I have on no jewelry today because I didn't know what I was getting. And I wanted to wear it. Oh, that is beautiful. A beautiful cup. And I love that color, especially for the summertime. That is just like... I don't know. That's one of the colors I think of when I think of Dean. I think that was one of the first things that I got were some earrings with this color in it. Beautiful. And so I really don't even know the names of these. He's going to tell us all about it. Oh, I love it. And it's so light and I oh, love stuff like this. Summertime is so much fun too, like with maxi dresses and stuff to wear pieces like this. In the winter, you can't wear, you know, I'm always wearing my leather motos and faux furs and stuff. You just can't wear as much stuff like this. Okay, and then here is a nice box and it pulls out like a drawer. Oh my gosh. This is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. It is a pendant with the same stone in it. Look how gorgeous. Oh my goodness, and look at the, um, like this, the, um, what am I trying to say, CZs or crystals all around it. Look at this, how pretty it is. And his pendants are so nice and not heavy in a bad way, but heavy in a nice substantial way that they hang in place. That was one of the first things that I bought of his at Oliver was the, um, I love it when stuff does this. It was the, um, what pendant was? Oh, it was my gold one that's kind of shaped like that. I can't remember the name of it, but about that and the castle ring and maybe another, a bracelet or something, but that's what got me hooked. It's just, his stuff is so, it's not frilly, but it's still so feminine and uh, you can really tell that he loves architecture too, like everything. 
Oh my goodness. So it's got the pink stone on the back. So it's like reversible. Oh my goodness. That is so beautiful. That reminds, I don't know what stone that is, but we're going to find out. So it's reversible. Oh, I love it. Something in a little pouch. My heart's like beating. I got butterflies. Okay. This must be earrings. Oh my goodness. Wow. Look at these. But look at the dimension. There we go. Look at how beautiful that is. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'll put those on. I'm going to put it all on. I'm going to be like a little kid. Oh goodness. Beautiful and not too heavy at all. A lot of times I'll buy like um, from Shopbop. I have bought a few pair of earrings that are just so big and beautiful, but they're so heavy that they're the kind you have to put on before you leave the house and then take off in the car. But these are not like that. They are so, oh, and look how much they show. Oh, see my hairs, get my hair out of the way. They are just gorgeous. Oh, look how gorgeous. See all the detail like in the setting. So pretty. Oh, I love how big it is. Just like his, um, his, I didn't put any lotion on my hands. My hands are dry because I didn't want to not be able to open like catches or earrings or something like that. So I wish my hands weren't so dry and they're cold too. But, um, his rings are always like the castle ring. They're big, but they're not, they don't get on your nerves. They don't, aren't the kind that you take off as soon as you get home. The other day when I had on one of his rings, when I did that video, I had that ring on to almost the end of the day. I thought about taking it off one time downstairs and I've been keeping his rings upstairs on my little mirror table. And um, so I thought, no, I'm going to take it off upstairs. And I had that thing on for a long time before I took it off. And I usually take off my jewelry when I get home. Look how beautiful that is. It's just gorgeous. Thank you, Dean. Oh, I love it. Oh, I'm so excited. I just feel like summertime or spring is really starting. I, I don't know. I just feel really good. Last summer... It was a good summer. Summer before last was so much fun. I felt so good and just, I don't know, it was just a really good summer. But we're doing two weeks at the beach this year. We're going to do um, two weeks back to back. So, because what happens is every year we go down to the beach and we stay one week and we're never ready to come home, you know. And um, so this week, this year we did two weeks back to back. So Brooke and I are so excited. John and uh, Will might go back and forth. What is this? Wow, some of you are going to really, if some of you want something simple but elegant, look at that. Just a row of, oh my goodness, those are beautiful. Here, I'll put these, I'll take one out and put it in. Those are so pretty and so simple. And I mean, think how many ways you could wear that to a, all of his jewelry. That's the, the best part of it is you could wear it to a really fancy party gala or whatever that <laughs> other people go to, or you could wear it with your leather and jeans. Oh my gosh. They are gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Dean. I love it all. They are just beautiful. They are just beautiful. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm going to put his video right here and let him say hi to us and explain everything and his inspiration. So we'll be right back. Hi everyone. Welcome back in the studio. Uh, I was chatting with Lisa this week and uh, we talked about how much fun we had with our last video. And so we decided to make a new video to introduce you to the Spring Summer 2016 collection. To start with, um, we have this beautiful um, drop stud earring. It's called the Mass Stud. Um, I created this just to have another uh, beautiful, easy to wear um, day to evening earring. It comes in a variety of different gemstones. 
uh, and works back to a lot of the architectural pieces you see in the collection, like the castle ring. Next to it, we have the Andromeda earring and the infinite hoop. Um, this is where you see some of the sculptural uh, and fluid shapes being introduced into collection this season. Next to that, we have this beautiful drop earring. You can see the unique um, flip that comes up on the back of this earring. They're a great everyday earring, very simple, easy to wear. Uh, we have them in all of the different metal colors. Uh, I think it's, it's our, basically our go-to earring for this season. Here we have our cloak pendant. Uh, the unique thing about this pendant is it's reversible. So you can wear it um, with a rectangular shape out or you have this beautiful curved line with a smooth cabochon gemstone. Now this is a favorite in the collection that we've brought back. This is our Colosseum pendant. Um, it has white topaz pave set down the edge and you can see this version has pink chalcedony and ocean blue chalcedony. We also have sampled this in um, pink chalcedony and moonstone, wrinkled moonstone. Um, it's a favorite of ours and um, we love it in the new gemstone options. This first style is called the origami frame earring. Um, this earring was actually worn by the First Lady of Canada, um, Sophie Gregoire Trudeau, when, they, when she landed in Washington for the state dinner. A beautiful, easy to wear and lightweight drop earring. Uh, we have the slip ear jacket. So the unique thing about this earring style is that it's actually three earrings in one. So you can wear this stud earring on its own. You can wear it with the pave back. You can wear it with this drop, or you can wear them all together. So this is meant to sit behind the ear. Um, it's a really versatile and beautiful earring. Next we have this beautiful cloak earring. So this works back to the cloak gemstone pendant. Another great style because of the really fluid shape and the soft chain. There's a lot of great movement to this style. We also have this in a two-tone option. This earring has been a favorite um, of our stores this season. The unique part about this style is it's 3D. So there's pave set all the way around the earring. It's almost as if they're floating. And again, you can see we've been playing with the softer shapes in this style and the really sculptural, beautiful simplicity. Here we have the cloak stud. So this earring can be worn in a number of different ways. Um, again, we have the beautiful cabochon gemstone. This is the ocean blue chalcedony. And then we have the, bl the brushed curved metal. Back here, you'll see the origami pendant. This is to show you, I designed this after an origami boat. Um, you all probably, will probably remember making origami boats as kids and you can see the beautiful set gemstone. And the thing with this pendant is um, you can wear it either way. So you have this really beautiful brush back and then you have the front. And then we have this complimentary long station necklace um, that layers beautifully with it. On to some of our new bracelets. Um, we have this great adjustable white topaz pave set um, bracelet. Great stacking piece for summer. This is one of my personal favorites. It's a hinged um, hinged bracelet. Very beautiful in the simplicity of the design. We have a scalloped cuff that's pave set all the way around. This comes in white topaz and black onyx. Again, it has a hinged closure. This is from our Octagon collection. This is Rainbow Moonstone. And this plays back to a, a pendant we had and a collection we had before called the Spectrum Collection. I designed this after a lampshade. And uh, we have a pendant, an earring, and this beautiful adjustable bracelet in the collection. And lastly, the, uh, the piece I want to introduce to you is the crown ring. Uh, this is my favorite piece in the new collection. Uh, a lot of you are probably familiar with the castle ring. And so this is the next generation. Uh, you can see the beautiful color in this labyrinth stone. But we have the same, a similar setting where the gemstone is set uh, floating in the setting. And we have this beautiful soft um, oval shape. Uh, it's a great cocktail ring. Uh, it's very comfortable to wear uh, and really impactful. So we quite often get asked what the different gemstone options are and what the gemstones look like. Um, so this will give you a quick overview on some of the gemstone options we have available for this spring. Uh, so we will start here 
This is a uh, pink chalcedony. This is the same gemstone that I showed you in the Colosseum pendant. Um, it has a beautiful opaque, um, opaque color and uh, great for um, spring summer. Next to that, we have the ocean blue chalcedony. This is one of my personal favorites um, as because of its uh, natural glowing quality and also a great gemstone option for, um, for spring summer. Next to that, we have the labradorite. This is actually our best selling gemstone. And the reason for that, um, you can see all of the fire and the color in the stone. It has all these natural striations um, in the darker colors. And the stone can range from blue to green to gray. Um, it's just a really beautiful natural gemstone. So basically, it'll basically work with anything in your wardrobe. Next to that, we have Rainbow Moonstone, another favorite of ours. Um, similar to the Labradorite, depending on how it hits the light, it takes on different color wise. So you can see, let's see if we can pick it up there, but see the blue in the gemstone there. So that's what's so unique about it. Um, as it moves around, you get all these brilliant colors of the rainbow. Uh, so it's also a really great and very versatile gemstone. So next we have the black onyx. Um, it's a beautiful classic gemstone in the quartz family. Uh, it's very versatile, easy to wear. It looks great with silver, rose gold, gold, uh, and it's great for spring, summer, and fall, winter. It's just uh, one, of the, one of the easiest to wear gemstone. It's been great having you in the studio today. Um, we appreciate Lisa and we appreciate all of you. And so we wanted to offer a discount off of our new collection. Um, if you enter the code LisaDD16 um, at checkout, you'll receive 25% off your order. That code will be valid until uh, Monday at midnight. So thank you again. Um, I think we're starting to get the hang of this whole YouTube thing, so you might see this more often. Thanks. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm going to leave everything on. I just love it. I put that earring back on. I just love these. They're so pretty. Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you, I had to go and get it from upstairs to bring you. And I ordered something from Lori. Um, gosh, LL, and I know it's her, her, like her birthday numbers. But anyway, I will put her uh, YouTube channel down below and her Scentsy. She started doing Scentsy, and she told me about it. A lot of you already follow her. She moved from Boston all the way to California. I was telling John about it. He couldn't believe it. He said, what made her do that? I said, well, I think she was just ready for some sunshine. I said, her mom moved with her too. And I know her um, ex-husband is there now visiting with her. But she told me that she was doing Scentsy. And I saw this a while ago. I don't know if it was on her channel or um, maybe when she announced it or whatever. But I ordered this for my room upstairs. I just thought it was so cool. You know, I love, <laughs> sounds funny, but I love skull stuff. I like like the skull and crossbones thing anyway, because um, my children are pirates and I see that everywhere. And I don't know, it's kind of edgy and I don't know. I just like it. And this one is just a pretty one. I mean, look how pretty that is. And it lights up, of course. So you have this little thing to put your scent in and it lights up and, the, and then the scent comes through here and it has the long cord and then it's, I love this, it has like the little thing that you just turn it on with. So a lot of times in the afternoons when I get home from picking up Will, Brooke gets home um, probably about an hour and a half later because in the afternoons she likes to ride the bus with her friends and I will turn that on and by the time she gets home, the whole upstairs has that good smell, but it's not, it's not even, I don't know, it's hard to say, it's not like an in-your-face. It's just a real light, good smell, and the thing I wanted to tell you, I've already thrown them away. I wish, I guess I could look at my order. If I'm not right, I'll, I'll correct myself, but the ones I ordered to go in it are called um, sand and sea or salt and sea. It was kind of a greeny color like this. You know, I'm attracted to that um, fragrance that was supposed to be like a beachy scent and it wasn't. It was very like soapy and had a sharp scent to it. And it, I had put, we put one in it and then I had put the rest of the pack in my drawer and it got to the point where I hated to even open my drawer. 
So Lori sent me these. And this is Country Plum. Probably something I would not have ordered. But this smells so good. I was like, thank you. Because we just started burning it. But it is the most um, soft, inviting. Um, John has not said anything about it. Um, it's... I don't know. It's just that scent that you want your home to smell like, like not perf not too strong perfumey, just a comforting, pretty smell with no sharpness to it, no food smell. Because sometimes I get tired of that. That's more like the fall and winter to me. In the summer, I really don't want like a food smell unless it's like strawberries or something like that. But um, anyway, so this is a good one. If you end up ordering something and you are looking for something. This one, I think, is a real universal. I think a lot of people would like this. And I just love it. And I'm going to put a picture. I had to send her a picture as soon as I got it. This matches my, it's like a little quilt that my mom got me and my rug upstairs so well, you won't believe it. And we put it on this, that boot tray that I bought months ago. And I didn't know what I was going to do with it. I have put it on the ottoman in front of my sofa and what Brooke and I do is we have this sitting on it which makes me feel good that it's not on something fabric or whatever even though it does not get that hot um, and then we you know that's where we put our food when we're laying on the couch or something or our drinks it's worked out real well Okay, so I'm going to put some of this stuff up and then I'll be right back and show you just a little bit of makeup and some other things that I got this week. Okay, this is something that I got last week, probably, I just love all my jewelry. Um, I got it Friday and some of you have probably seen, I think I wore some of the colors and told you about it on Instagram and I have worn it almost every day since I got it. There's so many different ways to do it and it is this by Terry palette. From Beautylish. It's a Sun Designer palette, and the one I chose is um, Sun Kiss Powders. I don't know if there's, it's, I'm not sure if what the different names are, but anyway, this is the one that's darker and brighter. And let me tell you, it is pigmented. So here it is. And look, is that not just, I am just so summertime. <laughs> My parents say that. What? Um, they watched some show. My parents have the best sense of humor. And um, I don't know what it was. And the girl said, it's just so summertime. And so we always say that. <laughs> but it is just so summertime. It is just gorgeous. And today, I used it. I've used it so many different ways. The first day that I used it, I think it was last Saturday, and that's when I posted it. I took a brush and I really, you know, used different colors out of it. And then I have taken a big fluffy brush and I have swirled and woo, you get a lot of color if you do that. That was probably a little bit too much for me. If your skin was darker, that would be good. And then the last couple of times, including today, what I have done is I've almost used this as a blush. And then this in the um, bronzer area, and then this almost for highlight, and then just dabbed my brush, I think today, which one did I use? I think I used this one, but just beautiful, beautiful colors. You can see my monitor, <laughs> and um, smooth and pigmented, and really, if you are lighter than me, I would say maybe go for the lighter one than this, because this one is serious but I love it and I'm gonna love it in the summertime especially I mean it's just gorgeous so thank you to Beauty List for that I love it love it and I feel so I don't know so nice so elegant using it okay did I get any more I don't think that I got I bought any more makeup this week my big thing was bras bras and underwear because I guess I'm thinking of Summer clothes, and you know, I got new stuff. <laughs> so if you don't want to see, I understand if you don't want to see bras, that's not your thing. Then um, I will put down below maybe where this starts and where it ends because I, sometimes I feel bad about it. But I know a lot of you like 
for me to tell you that you'll even ask me, even if I don't say which one I'm wearing today, I'm wearing that really cool one that we got from um, the one that Sarah Jessica Parker suggested that has the lace in the back and the tee back. And it was so nice to have this to wear with this new top that I've gone on today. So um, I'll be right back. Um, everything here, of course, like I said, has a story. And um, I told you guys that even though after my mastopexy, which I haven't forgotten, I've got part two to give to you. Um, after that, even though I am the same bra size, I am much different. And I love it. It's just, it's very exciting. Very exciting. And um, things that I couldn't wear before, I can wear now. Because I'm not as wide, I don't spill out of everything. And I don't get that double boob bump right here. And that used to keep me from wearing so many styles. And, you know, they would just tell me, you know, you just, basically, you just can't wear this. And now I can wear so many different things. And it's really neat. So I've been kind of going through and um, giving some of my bras away and then figuring out and then buying some new ones. So this I saw on Find Agency. I told you guys about her Instagram. She is a stylist in New York, I believe. And she always has the prettiest stuff on her Instagram. So inspiring. Anyway, she had these bras on there. And they are from Soma, which we just got a Soma here in town not too long ago. And it's right beside Victoria's Secret. Might be one store down, but like literally right there with it. And so I always assumed there would probably be nothing in there that I would like. I always thought it was for, you know, it was, I felt like it was going to be too practical for me. And there wasn't going to be anything in there that I would want. So last weekend, we went to the movies. We went to go see. It was so good. It was one of the best kids movies I've seen in a long time. Brooke and John agreed. It was um, Utopia. It was a very good message. Um, the characters, the little bunny, she had little lavender eyes. The characters were like the, I don't know, the cartoon and the art itself was beautiful and very cute. Um, not one, sometimes when I go see those cartoons, it, like halfway through, I feel like, oh my God. I mean, I feel like I'm about to jump out of my skin. I can't wait for it to be over. But that one wasn't like that. So anyway, that's a good cartoon if you want to go see one. And so after that, I asked John, I said, I saw some bras I want to go look at over at Soma. I said, can I walk over there and you just can come park and pick me up? So that's what we did. Brooke and I walked in there. But, um, so I, I tried on many bras. I tried on a strapless bra that I had to return. I tried on their push-up bra that I didn't really like. I am finding that um, a lot of bras will still too, be too big for me right here. They'll pucker and have too much room, like right here for some reason. But these fit beautifully and they are just the prettiest bras and, and um, but look how pretty the straps are but yet it's a very you know nice solid bra with good support and um, just really pretty and you know I love lace bras anyway and they're just everywhere you know every place has lace bras but this the lace was just so pretty when I saw the picture of it and of course I'll put the picture in here too um, There was just something different about these and they come in the prettiest colors and I'm trying to not get all black. Just seems like black and nude are certainly what I wear the most, but I'm trying to, you know, just get some pretty colors too. Okay, so speaking of black bras, <laughs> um, one of my friends on YouTube here, Sophie, Sophie Shohet, a lot of you probably are already subscribed to her. She has just exquisite taste and loves like Chanel things and she lives in the UK and so I love watching her videos and my friend Jennifer and I that I talk about a lot, we both like her and I remember, gosh, it was probably a month or maybe longer than that. It was before I could wear underwire after my surgery. I told Jennifer, I said, I wonder what bra Sophie wears because she always wears like t-shirts and she has boobs, but it's always smooth, no, you know, rumpling or anything. They look really good under her clothes and then she has good lift too. And that's sometimes when you have bigger boobs, it's hard to find something that lifts you up, that you're not spilling out of, that doesn't have 
that has smooth cups and all that stuff that you want. So she knew her and could text her. So she texted her and then texted me this bra back. And I told myself, as soon as I can, I'm going to get one of these. And so Bare Necessities has been having a 25% off like friends and family. So I ordered it. It's regularly 60. So you get it for 45. And here it is. It's a UK brand. And the brand is Freya. They also have um, bathing suit tops, too. And I want some new bathing suits this year. I love my um, Benchivi, but I want to get some different, just some different things this year. And I am not just saying this. I don't think there could be a bra made to fit me any better than this bra does. I, when I tried it on, John was laying in the bed watching the news or something. And I was in there trying on bras, which he loves that. And um, I kept saying, look at this. I mean, can you believe how good this fits? And it just fits so good. And so I emailed her and asked her, was it okay to mention that, you know, I got this from her because, you know, it might be a private thing. And she said, no, that was fine. She said that she had tried on a lot of bras and this one was just like she said, it's, it's lined. It's like it's got a little bit of molding, but it's not thick. There's no push up in the bottom. It is like got a good plunge and then but these straps are far enough on the side and it just pushes you it does what no bra does it pushes you up but not in so it kind of pulls them up and keeps them out and it just is beautiful I mean it's not it's kind of plain I mean it's still got some pretty like the bow and everything and the straps are a little different um, and the little bows right there, but I have already ordered the nude one and she said it comes in a lot of good colors But I figured I would start off with the nude and the black because that is what I'm going to be wearing it with the most And it's kind of light. I don't know. It's weird. It's like there's not much to it, but yet it's sturdy and um, It'll say on there That it's UK sizing and it'll give you like a conversion chart But it looks like it's the same because I ordered my typical size which is 34 dd double d and that's what it's the same as the uk and as pretty as all the rest of them are i think this is going to be probably what i wear the most and, and then these okay let me show you these because i when i ordered that i ordered these the same time from bare necessities for 25 percent off and you guys might know all about these but i was searching for strapless bras i have been I've gotten so many dresses with the um, just little spaghetti straps and so many things that I need to wear a strapless bra with. And someone mentioned these. And the name brand is Kubi. And they are one size fits all. And they a lot of people were just bragging on these. And so I decided to give them a shot. They're really pretty. So they're the typical just bandeau. But they're, they feel, I don't know, maybe a little bit nicer. And they're pretty, you know, they have the lace and they're just soft and I don't know, even the lace is really, really soft. And so I'm going to give these a try. And I don't think they were real expensive. I don't remember, but not crazy expensive. And then look how pretty even the nude one is. And so I thought I would just give them a shot and I ordered them. Uh, and then this is an oldie but a goodie. And these still fit very well. And it's just a basic for me are the unlined, I think they're called, it's the ones I've shown you for years now, the unlined Demi from Body by Victoria. But when I saw this color combination, look at this. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take a picture of this for Dean and tell him just how on the mark he is. It's just so summertime. I just love it. And I love the way it's got the um, blue right there and love the lace. And this does, this seam right here, sometimes that does show. I will go ahead and tell you. A lot of times I just don't care. It, you know, I'll be just wearing a t-shirt or something and I'm not worried about it. Um, but these wash well, wear well, and see, even though they're just lace, they have this like extra panel, like right there, that gives you that extra side support. They're really nice bras and they're good in the summer. They're light. So there you have it. <laughs> I've enjoyed shopping for those. And then I have the t-shirt that I have on and two other tees that I bought this week. And um, so I'll do a quick outfit of the day. I really do like doing outfit of the days better here. I feel like you can 
see them better. And then here is my big announcement. I'll go ahead. This kind of leads into it. One of the reasons I wanted to lose some weight is one, so I would feel better. Two, because I want to have just a really, really fun, good feeling summer. And three, I am getting ready to go to Los Angeles. <laughs> I am going to go visit with Sheila. And for all of my California girls, I've already contacted everybody that I know of. We're going to have like a party, a meet and greet type party at Sheila's store. I'll put the address down below, but it's in, it's near Los Angeles. And I'll put the address down below. But that Thursday, the 21st, so just not next week, but the next week, I'll fly out there a couple days before the party. And I'm going to stay with her. I'm going by myself. And, um, I'm going to fly out there, and then we're going to have a party at her store on Thursday, the 21st, from 4 to 7. And she's going to have a bartender, and it's going to be so much fun. I think I'm going to have, she's got a makeup artist friend that's going to do my makeup. And um, then she's going to just show me all around. And I'm not really going to do a meet and greet or anywhere else, because I'm going to do like I did when I met her in New York. I am going to go with the flow. I'm going to... She does, she eats like this too, low carb, so that's going to be perfect because everywhere she'll take us, you know, she'll be, you know, we'll build it, she'll know all the good things that I can eat and she's a foodie, she loves good food and she is so good, she's, she's better than any tour guide, she'll take me to all these cool places, I have not even made one request and she's already been getting ready, so I am, you guys know how excited I am, and it's such a wonderful opportunity to meet some of you girls that live in California. So I'm hoping, I think I'm going to meet, get to meet Yvette, oh, that is just wonderful, um, Elizabeth and Lori. I think they might all be able to, and I think it's like an hour away from all of them, but I'm hoping that they'll get to make it. I don't want anybody to go out of their way or, you know, you know what I mean. I don't want, I would just... Don't want to put anybody out, but I would love to see you guys. So that is my big announcement. I'm really excited about it. I'm going to do a quick out casual outfit of the day. No heels today. And then I'll let you go. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'll start with what I have on. This is a new tank from, seems to be one of my favorite brands now. And here again, I didn't even know that when I was showing you guys the skull that I had one on. That is so cool. But here again, it's the Palm Skull Tank from... Um, the 360. It's called the Skull Cashmere. And even their tag is so cool. It has like the skull on it. But, um, and they actually, they have one too that has little pink skulls on it. And it was hard to choose which one, but I knew this one would look good underneath a blazer or, you know, jacket or something like that. And I just loved that it's kind of like a beachy skull with the palm trees and everything. And um, it's 100% cotton, so it's not going to be hot. And then let me zoom. Very easily dress this up. I could very easily roll up. Hello, Chanel. Hey, baby. You gonna do an outfit of the day with me again? Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, Serpent Kitty. Hey, pretty girl. Hey, pretty girl. Hey, anyway. These are, you know, like my favorite jeans, the Citizens of Humanity, and I love little bracelet. The Citizens of Humanity, Corey, and these are the natural that I got last year, but she does have them again. And um, I could easily roll them up and put on heels and a blazer and have a really cute outfit. But when I put them on, I had on my Javianas, and I just liked, I felt like, well, this is a cute casual look, too. Okay, I bought two t-shirts. You guys know I've been into the graphic tees. And this one is by Soul Angeles, which is, this is from Oliver. And it was $70, which if you knew how much I wear, this is just like the one that says, um, I wear it all the time. Um, go your own way. Remember when I did that? <laughs> I got it last summer, but it's the exact same t-shirt, I believe, and I wear that all the time, and so when I saw this, it says, just a perfect day. Oh, I even like that. It's so positive and nice, but this t-shirt, like even with these pants, I wear it all the time, and it's not stark white. It's kind of like an off-white, and I even sleep in this t-shirt a lot because 
it is just one of those that it just goes on. You know how some t-shirts just, I don't know, they're tight under the arms or they're tight around the neck. And they're just not your go-to. Like you'll pass them a lot of times in the drawer. This is the one when you see it clean, you just put it on. It's just, there's something about It's like full, but it's still kind of fitted. Now I did get the small instead of the medium. I think in the go your own way, I had gotten the medium. But um, I've just gotten upset with myself for getting everything too big lately. So I got the small and it fits perfectly. And I love it. And you guys are going to love this one. So this, you guys have probably seen. It's from Sincerely Jewels. And I believe she, I don't know if she started on YouTube or on Instagram. I know she's a blogger. And I have her other t-shirt that I bought years ago. Um, it says Selfie with a C, Take Off on Celine. And she did this t-shirt a while ago and it was always sold out and the other day I just happened to be looking at graphic tees on Shopbop and saw it was in stock and I grabbed it and I just think it is beautiful look at the colors some of it is lips and lashes I believe which is so cool and let's see I got a medium and it looks kind of big but it's just a different kind of t-shirt. I knew that when I got it. It's the kind that you kind of tuck in and maybe roll up the sleeves and wear with boyfriend jeans. And I just think, oh, it's just so pretty. I love it. I even love the colors that they used on the lips. So I was happy to get that. John liked it too. Anyway, well, you guys know about all of my accessories. And oh, thank you, Dean. And um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found something that you can get that will make you happy this weekend. I really have you guys in mind when I'm shopping. It's funny. I always think they'll love this. And um, so I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.